Playing on this new turf field is awesome. It makes playing here even more fun, and I'm super excited to play on it in season. We have a brand new turf field, a new fencing all the way around, padding, extra protection uh, in front of the dugouts, um, and a new backstop uh, netting system. From a playing perspective, first place or the outfield, you just know the hops are always going to be good. In the wall, in the outfield, you know, they're never scared to rob home runs because it's nice and padded, so we're just really grateful to have the new field. So four groups. we got a base running group. we got live cages and tees off of the rise ball. We're able to do a lot more of the, the game, the scrimmage, the live setting, you know, that we're not able to do in Fred Hill. Personally, I haven't played on turf for a very long time, and um, I think it's just really great when you come out here and you can kind of practice in any condition you want, and um, you know, it's just like a really great um, atmosphere. The, the feel here is really great. We're able to continue to practice no matter what the weather conditions are, and it's actually a lot easier transition than I thought it would be. The wind, the sun, the rain is, is a big factor in our game, so being able to be outside and, and practicing in those elements really puts us a step ahead of a lot of up north schools and, and gets us on a level playing field uh, with obviously the down south schools. Pitchers that don't throw hard, they can't beat us. They can't jam us. They're not, they, they, they did not jam us one time last year. This game, it's, it's about talent and winning games, but it's a recruiting game as well. So we're very excited and, and proud now to bring our recruits on campus uh, with the addition, obviously, of the Fred Hill hitting complex. Um, it's a game changer for us, absolutely. One, two, three. All gas, no breaks! In uncertain times, you need someone who has your back. That's why at Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield of New Jersey, we make sure our health plans have all the benefits you need. Because everyone should feel like someone has their back. When I started swimming, I was seven years old. I didn't like swimming at all. I, I would hide from my parents when they had to take me to practice. I started actually liking swimming when I was 12. So it took a long time, but at the end I made it. I came to Rutgers mainly for the academics, but I also knew that Rutgers has such a big number of international students. Uh, so I knew that uh, I was welcome in such a new environment. So we're starting 800 reverse IM, 100 kick, 50 drill, 50 swim. And then we get into the underwater set. I was di diagnosed with long QT while I was doing the physical set at the beginning of the year. The hard beats, there is like a, a long uh, wave and then a shorter one. The distance between the two shorter waves uh, was uh, too long. Uh, it can be life-threatening in a situation of a physical stress. Indeed, uh, they told me many times uh, that uh, I could risk like to die during practice. I felt powerless because it was something that I could not control. And, uh, the, and thinking that I could not swim anymore just scared me because this was uh, the reason why I came here in America. During the first month, I was uh, allowed only to practice 45 minutes uh, per day. So I was allowed only to do the warm-up uh, and I was not allowed to sprint. Since my parents were worried that they took me to an Italian cardiologist, um, who is uh, actually worldwide famous uh, for this kind of uh, disease, we managed to bring uh, the Italian doctor in contact with my um, American cardiologist uh, and uh, they actually talked about it uh, and uh, it took an entire year to, um, to finally clear me. The news came all of a sudden because uh, until the day before I thought that I would never swim anymore and uh, but then my coach called me one day in the middle of July and he told me that they actually wanted to clear me. And, uh, and that was actually the first time I cried out of joy. So that's, uh, that's, I will remember that. 
At the beginning, it was hard because uh, um, I missed uh, many practices. I knew that uh, it would take me a long time to go back in track again. Finally, when I first uh, competed in the first uh, meet, uh, meet, it was uh, uh, it was like coming back uh, to my old life. We um, broke the pool record for the 400 relay. I was the anchor of the relay, so I, I was the first person. And uh, um, I swam my 100, and then when I touched uh, the wall, I saw that we broke the pool record. And uh, I was not expecting that, so uh, that, made me, that made my day, actually. So, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's it. <laughs>